Hey guys, this is Abe for iOS Hacker and in this video we are going to take a look at iOS 14's new widgets feature for the iPhone. After years of mockups, concepts and city tweaks, Apple has finally added widgets to the iPhone. In addition to adding widgets to the home screen, Apple has also redesigned the widget section that you find on the leftmost page of the iPhone. With the iOS 14 widgets feature, you can add widgets anywhere on the home screen. You can place them in between icons, align them to the left or right and place them in between icon rows. Adding or removing widgets to the home screen is quite easy. All you have to do is enter the added home screen mode or the jiggle mode as we commonly refer to it and then you have to tap on the plus button from the top left corner of the screen. As soon as you do, you will be given access to the widget screen which lists all the available widgets that you can add to your home screen. Adding a widget to the home screen is quite simple. From the search widget screen, tap on the widget that you want to add to your home screen, select the right size of the widget and then once you're done simply tap on the add widget option. As you can see the widget has been added to the widget screen. From here I can drag the widget from one page to another and change its position by dragging it up or down. Once I'm satisfied with the location, I can simply let go of the widget and it will be placed right there. iOS 14 features support for both Apple Mate and third-party widgets. Even though you don't see many third-party widgets right now, once iOS 14 is available in the fall, many app developers will release their own widgets. Most first party widgets that are available right now offer multiple sizes, so you can choose the widget size that suits your home screen setup the best. Each of the sizes offer varying amount of information density. Right now you get first party widgets for batteries, calendar, fitness, music, news, notes, stocks and photos. More first party and third party widgets will be added in the future versions of iOS 14. The iOS 14 widgets have a new feature called Smart Stacks. This widget stacks feature makes managing iOS 14 widgets easy by enabling users to create stacks of up to 10 widgets on the home screen. You can drag one widget on top of another and swipe through them. Widget stacks are also smart and can show you the right widget using the own device intelligence. These widgets are shown based on time, location and activity. So in the morning you might see an Apple news widget on top of the stack while at night you might see the activity data for that day. All of the widgets that are available on iOS 14 widgets features support the dark mode. As soon as you enable the dark mode, the widgets will turn dark and give you a different look and feel. I would go as far as saying that some widgets look even better in the dark mode than they do in the light mode which is great because most of us have dark mode enabled by default. Many widgets also offer customizations. For example, with weather widget, you can enter the edit mode and change the location for which the weather report is shown. Removing widgets from the home screen is also quite simple. In order to remove a widget, simply tap and hold on it and then tap on the remove widget button. Finally confirm by tapping on the remove button. As soon as you remove a widget, icons will automatically take its place. So there you go folks, this was our look at iOS 14 widgets feature. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more iOS 14 videos. We will see you in our next video.